Okay, so let's have a look at how we can use all of the photo restoration tools in Photoshop to clean up an image like this. Okay, so there's a lot of things we can do that are quite automated, quite clever tools, but certain there's other things we need to really start thinking about layers and being a bit more manual with the cloning tools, etc. Okay, so let's start off with our spot healing brush tool over here. And I come across the image. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can see what's happening. So the spot healing brush, again, I'm going to choose a reasonable size brush. Perfect for getting rid of bits like this. Little imperfections. Let's go around and have a look. All these little bits here, look. Let's reduce the size right down so we can clean up little bits like this. These little bits here. Okay, so really minimal effort on our behalf. Go around the image and clean up all these little tiny fragmented sections here. Have a look. Okay, these bits are a bit more complex. I don't think it's going to do a particularly good job on them, so we'll use another tool there. Bits like this, look. Really good at just cleaning up these areas. Around this little bit of a jumper here. Okay, and again, a bit like that. It's fine, but when we start to look at bits like this, okay, this is getting a bit out of the realms of this tool, really. Let's make the let's just try for it. For example, let's make it a bit bigger. Okay, try and clean this up. Okay, and it's getting too light. Cause basically, what Photoshop does, it thinks, because there's such a light area there, it thinks it needs that to fix that part of the image. Okay, which it doesn't. But we can't really use this tool to do that. So we just need to think now how, what we what else we can do. Okay. So what I can do is using my layers, I can replicate parts of the image and put it over here. So this corner's perfectly fine so why can't I copy that flip it over and stick it on this side okay so let's have a go at that so we need to use our selection tool let's go to our lasso tool I'm gonna make a selection of this corner okay and all I'm gonna do is go to edit copy and edit and paste Okay, and what that's done, it doesn't look like it's done anything, but I've actually got a copy of that corner now, look, pasted into another layer. So let's bring that over to the other side. I'm going to go to Edit, Transform, and flip it across horizontally. There. Okay, so I'm covering up that image there, which is fine, but obviously the edge is a little bit, a little bit sharp on there, so... For this instance, I can come across and just use my razor tool there. Grab my razor tool. Let's bring the size of this brush down a little bit. Okay, we'll choose one of these feathered edge ones here, these feathered edge budget brushes, bring it down a little bit. Make sure I've got my layer one selected. And I can even bring the opacity down of this, so it's not 100% there. So basically, when I come around the edge there, look. I'm erasing that layer, but it's feathering it in because I'm just touching the edge, just to get rid of that sharp edge there. Okay, so that's that corner fixed easily. Just copied and pasted the other one across there. Okay, so I've got this little line down the corner. What I want to do is actually crop this down. So I've got a crop tool as well. Let's choose the crop tool. And I can just pull this in a little bit here, look. To crop it in. Press enter, there we go, cropped in nicely. In fact, I want to crop in a little bit of the other side as well. Crop a little bit off there just to make it a bit neater, perfect. Okay, so clean the corner up, no problem. Now let's look at these areas that are a little bit more tricky. This bit down here. All right, let's zoom in and have a look what we can do here. So this bit here, we're going to have a few problems with the spot heating brush here because there's too much going on. It's not going to know what to fill and where to fill it. Okay, so I'm going to, again, this is where I need to be very wary of my layers now because I've got another layer on top. So I need to make sure I select my background layer. This is what I want to work on. 
and this time I'm going to use my clone stamp tool. Okay, the brush is very big there, so let's reduce that down. It's a more manageable size. So I want to have real control over what Photoshop's copying here. So this one I can use here. So again, clone stamp tool cannot be used because I'm not defined the area. So let's define the area. I press my Alt key, click once there. I can start to drag down look and it just replicates that area there. So I'm painting in the brushes. And the key to this one is to keep pressing the Alt key. Okay. To keep changing the source point. Otherwise it might you might get a bit of a jigsaw effect. Look like it's repeating itself a little bit. Okay, so I want to just keep pressing the Alt key. Keep coming down here. Let's get these brush strokes in there keep the texture of the hair quite nicely okay and the key to this really is to keep zooming out looking out there seeing how natural this looks so that's not looking too bad let's go back in here so again I can come sometimes you nearly almost need to do this pixel by pixel okay so let's press let's reduce this brush down a little bit more okay press my alt key there and again just copying a bit of this jumper in there just to get rid of that little white area let's put a bit of red in alt key and click there to get rid of this red bit again okay so we keep changing that source point of the of the clone stamp tool just to get rid of all these little bits here so almost look we're going pixel by pixel really just to go down an alt key but again it does it quite quickly if you work methodically so we've got a nice little fixed area of hair in that corner now. So other areas, let's have a look here. Um, again, look the hair up here, his hair. So let's press the Alt key here. Another example, we want to keep the texture there of the hair. Alt key, click in. Okay, Alt key here. Again, just get that eye little eye bit fixed there. Okay, so just by cloning areas again, a little bit more manual than the spot healing brush. Back in again. Let's have a look at this blouse. So here, really, I can do a similar things I did with the corner. So choose my background layer. Choose my lasso tool. Let's make a copy of this side. Okay, then edit, copy, edit, paste. So again, I've got a copy of that part. I'm going to go to edit, transform, and I'm going to flip that horizontally. I've got a mirror image of it there, and I can rotate it around a little bit. Get it roughly fit in there. Click enter. And again, a razor tool. Change the size of this brush a little bit to get rid of the bit I don't need. There. Okay, merge it in. A softer razor again using the same settings I used before. Get that fitting nice. Let's zoom out again. There we go. So it's nicely fixed up that part of the image. Okay, so again, I've only got a couple of layers in here. I've got another layer for this side of the blouse, another layer for this top corner, and again, I've done all my clone stamp tool on the actual background layer. So really, now I just need to look at the colours. Let's have a look at some adjustments here. What do I want to change? So brightness and contrast here. There you go. That looks a lot better. A lot more vibrant of the colours there, just bringing that contrast up. So I've got an adjustment layer in, just a brightness and cut contrast adjustment layer. So you can see there quite quickly and easily we've done a nice fix of that image, got rid of all those corners that were a bit manky. So let's just go back to what we looked at before. So if we go back to my history look, we've gone from that down to that in a few short steps.